you can have this yummy and very easy to make soup ready faster than it takes to get takeout from across town. It's time for Kitchen Quiz! Greetings peeps! Welcome to another episode of KQ. Mitch in the Kitchen here with you. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make very easy pumpkin soup. And coming up later, my partner Chef Philip will pop in to taste test the very easy pumpkin soup. This would be excellent for the holidays. Just so you know, the base version of this recipe is naturally vegan. I'll also show you some additional ingredient options for alternative versions as well. You know, because some of us just can't do without a little bacon. To make the very easy pumpkin soup, you'll need one white or yellow onion, four cloves garlic, four cups vegetable stock, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon ground black pepper, one half teaspoon ground ginger, one half teaspoon ground nutmeg, one quarter teaspoon ground cloves, one quarter teaspoon ground cayenne pepper, two tablespoons maple syrup, two tablespoons olive oil, and two, 15 ounce cans pumpkin puree. Be sure to get pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. Pumpkin puree is 100% pureed pumpkin with no additional ingredients. Before I start cooking, I like to have all of the ingredients prepared. First, I cut the onion into a small dice. Then, I peeled the garlic cloves and ran them through a garlic press. Next, I made the vegetable stock using four cups of hot water and two vegetable bouillon cubes. I like to let the vegetable bouillon cubes sit in the hot water for a minute or Two. I find that once they get warmed up, the cubes dissolve much better. Just stir the mixture thoroughly with a spoon. You can use vegetable stock from a box or a can if that's what you have available. I also measured out all of the spices and seasonings as well as the maple syrup. Okay, so now it's time to start cooking. I have a six quart enameled cast iron pot on the stove over medium low heat. Now I'm going to add the olive oil. Once the oil begins to shimmer, I'm going to add the diced onion. I just love that sizzling sound. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of the salt. This will help dry off the moisture and the onions will cook faster. I'm going to continue cooking the onions until they become translucent. This will take about seven or eight minutes. Now I'm going to continue cooking the onions just until some light browning occurs. This will help add more flavor to the soup. With the onions ready, I'm adding the crushed garlic to the center of the pot. I'm going to cook the garlic just until I can smell that wonderful garlic aroma. That will only take about a minute. I like to keep the garlic moving around the pan so it doesn't burn. Now I'm going to stir the onions and the garlic together. Time for the vegetable stock. I like to slowly and carefully add the stock, so hopefully I don't splash it everywhere and make a big mess. Now I'm going to stir all of the ingredients. I want the stock to deglaze the pot so we get all of that lovely flavor from the fond. Okay, now I'm going to add all of the spices and the remainder of the salt. Now stir the spices and seasonings into the mixture. It is starting to smell quite amazing in this kitchen. Now it's time for the pumpkin puree. Just place all the puree right in the pot. And finally, add the maple syrup. I'm going to give everything a very thorough stir to be sure all of the ingredients are mixed together. Once the soup begins to bubble, place the lid on the pot and turn the heat down to the lowest setting. I'm going to let the soup simmer for a bit, so now I'm setting a timer for 15 minutes. While the soup simmers, I can tidy up what little mess I actually made. For me, an important part of an easy recipe to cook is that it's also easy to clean up afterward. Woohoo! Let's get the lid off and have a look. Ooh, nice and bubbly. I've turned the heat off and now I'm going to move the pot off of the hot burner. At this point, I like to give the soup a very thorough stir. If you plan to serve the soup shortly, leave the lid off so it can cool down to an edible temperature. We like to stash the very easy pumpkin soup in a sturdy, airtight container in the refrigerator. So, when we're hungry, all we have to do is warm it up. We can call the soup finished right now, as it is. Let's have a quick sample taste. Mmm, mmm, so supremely yummy. This is really good. It really tastes like pumpkin, and I'm getting those lovely warming spices. I think this version of the Very Easy Pumpkin Soup is spot on. Meanwhile, if you'd like to keep this soup strictly vegan, but you'd like a creamier texture, add a little coconut milk. You could also use almond milk if that's what's in your fridge. If keeping this soup vegan is not a requirement for you, you can create a creamier texture using heavy whipping cream. About half a cup should do the trick. Just be sure the soup 
soup has cooled down a bit before adding, so the heavy whipping cream doesn't curdle. If you don't want to add cream to the entire batch, you can add a small amount to individual servings. Remember, cream is an optional ingredient. This soup has a lovely texture and it tastes great without it. When I was making test batches developing this recipe, my partner Philip wanted to add a protein to his soup. He chose cooked diced ham for his bowls of Very Easy Pumpkin Soup. The Very Easy Pumpkin Soup can be served a variety of different ways. Serving individual bowls of soup is actually my favorite way to do it. Then, each bowl can be customized according to the wishes of my family and guests. Personally, I'm going to top my bowl of Very Easy Pumpkin Soup with crispy bacon lardon. A little dollop of sour cream and some chopped fresh chives would also be excellent. The Very Easy Pumpkin Soup is ready to enjoy. Ooh. Ah. Since I've already had a taste, let's see what my partner Chef Philip has to say about the Very Easy Pumpkin Soup. Hello everyone! Look! Very Easy Pumpkin Soup! Mmm! For something that's very easy, it smells really delicious. Let's give it a taste. Mmm! That's really good! There's a little bit of sweetness from the pumpkin, but it's really rather savory. Really delicious! Hey peeps! If you like our show, please click the subscribe button. And when you check the bell symbol, you'll get notifications when we have new videos to view, as well as when we do live streams. Thank you so much for joining us! See, See you, you next time! time.